Uh, last up, we've got uh, uh, Alex Deliac, the our uh, um, token um, jeans and sweater arrived by bike, very much our innovator. Uh, Alex, what do you got for us? Hi there. Um, so I'm uh, Alex Daliak, co-founder of Tractable, and I've come here to talk to you about artificial intelligence because we are bringing it to insurance. So a year ago, uh, my co-founder and I were researchers in machine learning at uh, Cambridge and Imperial College. We'd been working for years on computer vision. Can we create algorithms that can see and understand the world visually in the same way that us humans can? One year ago, a breakthrough was achieved. Human accuracy was surpassed in a specific task called large-scale image classification. What this basically means is that now we can train computers to see better than humans. At that point, we thought the time was right to leave research and to create Tractable with the mission to find the most disruptive and immediate applications of this technology and to bring it to market. And in the space of a few months, we raised $2 million of venture capital, not here, but right in Silicon Valley because of how excited investors were about our technology. We didn't even fly over there, they came over. Next step, the number one opportunity for this tech, I kid you not, is motor claims. There's three reasons for that. First of all, for 10 years now, insurers and body shops and loss adjusters have been sending images and repair estimates to each other. A veritable gold mine for machine learning researchers such as us is right there. This basically means that if you get people like us working on this, you can create algorithms that will be able to perform repair estimates automatically at scale and with higher accuracy than humans. And anyone with a handheld device will be able to do that. So that means right at first notice of loss, you can get your repair estimate. So what's the commercial value here? Well, at the moment, it costs roughly 30 pounds to get a desktop estimate done. And the marginal cost of producing that is 15 pounds. When this tech is going to be up and running, we'll be able to do this at near zero marginal cost. So we're going to completely disrupt that market. But it's not just about making desktop estimates far cheaper. In the UK, the ability to produce a repair estimate right at first notice of loss means that you get to send, if it's a right, so if you consider the sort of distribution of damage, right, there's a sort of damage spectrum. At the far end, for write-offs, you'll be able to tell that straight away, send it straight to salvage. In the case of a non-fault claim, that really protects you straight away. In the case of significant damage, there's been a move in the UK towards fixed price deals with the biggest body shops like Nationwide. Not with smaller body shops because they don't want to take on the risk. But if you've got the repair estimate, if you already know how much it's going to cost, there's no more risk. So the opportunity there is for completely risk-free, predetermined prices. And then on the light damage, the funny thing is that at the moment, you need to get the car to the body shop. And then in cases where you realize it's just light damage, a smart repair guy gets called to come and fix it, which is ridiculous. Right? The key to key time is a week, probably more, whereas it's just a smart repair. In those cases, we can basically bring windscreen repair to light damage. And just, you know, as soon as you analyze that the repair summit is light damage, send a smart repair across, and the whole thing is settled in a few hours. That's the value for the UK. For the US, the value is even greater because, first of all, insurers settle with cash in the UK, and secondly, the at-fault insurer has to settle the guy who's at fault and the guy who's non-fault. There's a massive opportunity for basically just settling the claim in minutes, regardless of the damage, and doing that for the claimant as well, in the case where you know, your policyholder is at fault, and providing such an incredible user experience that most likely you'll be able to convert that claimant and completely change the rules of churn. So where are we right now? In terms of team, we've got 10 people, six of which are world-leading researchers in machine learning and artificial intelligence. We're filing patents. 
we've made technological breakthroughs. For the first time, we've managed to make algorithms predict the correct labor operations for damaged parts, which is something that only assessors with years of experience can do, and something that computer vision companies scattered around the globe have been trying to do and dying trying, at, trying it for years. Our scientific advisor is Professor Zubin Garamani, who's the head of the machine learning group at Cambridge, arguably the leading machine learning group in this continent. And despite being an academic and not having the biggest salary, he's invested. Where are we in terms of business? We're working with software providers on both sides of the Atlantic. And we're starting to work with insurers on the other side of the Atlantic, because they're very excited. In the UK, we're engaging talks. And we've had interesting, very mixed reactions. Certain insurers, the most daring ones, when you look at the numbers, are very excited. Others are a bit slow. But we're moving forward. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Um, can I ask you a quick question? What, what do you need from insurers? What do, what do cooperative insurers provide you with? The whole point of um, this solution is that the policyholder will call the insurer and will say, hey, I've just had damage. The insurer will say, hey, download our app and we'll be, and, you know, we'll have, we'll be integrated with that app and we'll be able to take the policyholder through the claim. So we need to integrate with the insurers. And note, you know, one of the big things about insurers remaining uh, relevant in the digital revolution is to be present in the digital life of that, of that, of that um, policy holder, right? This is a great chance to get them to download that app because by using our technology, they're going to be able to completely change their customer experience. Thank you. What sort of other applications do you see when you, I mean, there is within the insurance markets and then, then perhaps outside the insurance market? Yeah. Um, so within the insurance market, so first of all, you know, we're focusing on computer vision um, because, you know, that's where this breakthrough occurred a year ago. Uh, and so you can, the rule of thumb is every time within, you know, the, your industry, uh, some human experts are paid to look at something and perform judgment based on their visual expertise, that's where our algorithms can come in. So for example, I believe for commercial property underwriting, uh, there's some visual expertise there, which could quickly become automated as well. And then there's you know, other visual assessments of claims, such as home. And then outside insurance, there's a very large set of uh, applications as well. I won't. There's, um, especially within industrials and natural resources, uh, visual expertise is extremely important there as well. You've, you've spoken about the gold mine of data related to these claims. How easy is it to get access to that to train your machines? So that's the interesting thing. Um, the data kind of changes hands a lot, right? Um, it gets captured by you know, loss adjusters or um, by body shops, and they get sent over to the insurers, and it gets sent over through you know, various softwares provided by software providers slightly different in various countries. So you can get the data from the insurer, you can get the data from the software provider, or you can get the data from the body shop. The exciting thing for us is that the body shops can make a quick buck from selling this data to us. And actually, they are the owners because they took the images. So we're going through all three, uh, but the slowest one, yet the most exciting one, is probably just buying that data from the body shops. Thank you. Alex, thank you very much. Thank you.